After an intriguing fortnight of women's tennis, it was the first Australian Open final in the Open era between two players ranked outside the top 10. The 21-year-old Sophia Kennan, the youngest finalist at Melbourne Park since 2008, while Garbina Muguruza is the first Spanish woman to play the Australian Open final in 22 years. The Spaniard, with a strong start, making use of the American's vulnerable serve, she broke in the third game. The break comes and it comes early. Both players had their moments in the first. Muguruza won just two more total points. Muguruza is first on the board. But the American really stepped up her game in the second. Kennan served better, played better. She returned that one fast. Muguruza has floated it over the baseline. Kennan gets the first break of the second set. Kennan then played more aggressively, took her shots earlier. The momentum had shifted. The young American has played an exemplary second set so far and she's now just one game away from levelling up the 2020 final. It's 5-2. A stark contrast to the first set, especially on the American's serve. Kennan had now finally found her rhythm. What a fight back by the 21-year-old. She's got the momentum on her side. The crowd stands at Rod Laver Arena. And the 2020 Australian Open final is going to a third and deciding set. It was a stunning match from the 21-year-old who stayed calm under pressure. That is nothing short of exceptional. Muguruza struck 45 unforced errors, which proved way too many. Kennan broke her twice in the final set. An unfortunate way for that game to end, but the momentum well and truly now back with the American. It was the performance of her life, relentless and accurate. Oh, how about the work she got on that ball? That was not an easy ball to get over. From the moment she was a little girl, Sophia Cannon believed that this may be her destiny. My dream has officially came true. I cannot even describe this feeling. It's so emotional and I've worked so hard and I'm just so grateful to be standing here. You know, dreams come true. So if you have a dream, go for it and it'll, it's going to come true. Victoria Jimenez Kasinceva is the first player from Andorra to win a Grand Slam title after capturing the junior girls singles crown. The 14-year-old was the youngest player in the draw and defeated Poland's Veronica Bazak in three sets. The boys' junior title went to France and Harold Mayo, the number one seed. The 17-year-old defeated his friend and doubles partner, Arthur Kavar, in straight sets. Dylan Alcott won a record-extending sixth straight Australian Open quad wheelchair singles title. Playing before a big home crowd under a closed Rod Laver Arena roof, Alcott held off a late charge from Great Britain's Andy Lapthorne, 6-love, six 6-4. Six Lapthorne is challenging the call on the right baseline. The Aussie paid an emotional tribute to the sport. Tennis honestly saved my life. It really did when I was younger. And the Australian Open, single-handedly, changed my life. It really has. And it's the most inclusive of the Grand Slams to be able to back us to come out here and put on a show live on TV all around the world and in front of this unbelievable crowd. I love every single one of you for supporting what we do. And late Saturday night, Barbara Krejcikova and Nikola Mektic won the mixed doubles title. The Croat Czech duo, who were the number five seeds, came from one set down to beat American Bethany Maddox Sands and their British partner, Jamie Murray.